You know, TV3 isn't just a place for Judge Judy to curl up and die. No, Ballymount Industrial Estate is also a hotbed of innovation. And, as it happens, refrigeration. <laughs> this week, they've combined the graphics of a Commodore 64 and the fresh new sounds of a child's Casio keyboard from the 80s to give us... As seen on TV, did answer one important question, though. What did Angus O'Snuddick do with all those ink cartridges? He printed out the set. <laughs> Hello, good evening. I'm Marty Miller. When an RTE2 show is slagging off your show for being cheap, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> the show's greatest strength, though, is that it recreates all those awkward conversations you have at work, colleagues, while you're waiting for the communal kettle to boil. And what do you do on bank holiday weekend? Mm, not much this weekend now, just no. taking it easy, relaxer. Yeah, any, yeah. any plans for a bank holiday weekend? I'll be watching plenty of TV to get more content for next week's show. <laughs> That's what I'll be doing. All right, uh, <laughs> So are you going to John's Leaving Drinks on Friday? Or... Have you guys seen on YouTube, there's a clip from Family Guy where they did a little skit with an artist like that, where he starts talking to the, uh, to the painting. <laughs> <laughs> it's my little secret. Don't you tell people. And he turns violent and it's, it's, very, um, it's quite funny. <laughs> Deirdre just says there's something wrong with the photocopier. Have my eyes glazed over. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I just fell asleep there, Connie. You know, <laughs> even I bored myself. Imagine what they cut out. <laughs> the show's based around imaginary letters from non-existent people, although it's less Arthur's mailbag and more Arthur's ball bag. Dear TV3, whilst watching your Style Awards programme earlier this week, I could not help notice that there seem to be all types of women in all types of dresses. All types of women in all types of dresses. <laughs> Thanks, Mary from Tullamore, who isn't real. <laughs> but it was this imaginary letter that had them really scratching their heads. Dear gang, have I completely lost it? Or are David and Rachel on a boat on Tuesday? Or maybe the entire village was just being stolen? Either way, despite the fact that they were the ones having a few drinks, as the scenery outside the window continued to flow past, it was me who was left feeling a little disorientated. Amazing. Marty was determined to have another look, even though it was obviously just a tracking shot and his makeup didn't reach all the way to his hair. We, we've got to have a look at this. Now, keep a very close eye on the window. Connor, didn't you get onto ITV about this? You did have a chat about this? How long? Yeah, the Sam Paddy on the phone wants to know what TV is. I did. I got onto the press office and I asked them, uh, I, I made reference to this, I asked them to explain it. OK, OK, right. Now, we're getting somewhere. Keep asking the questions. Basically what it is, it's really quite simple. It's just uh, an allusion to the eye. So if his calculations are correct, <laughs> and I'm not actually bigger, I'm just closer to the camera. <laughs> it's an allusion to the eye. They have uh, a move called a tracking shot, which I think we're going to try and replicate now. It's got lots of different names, uh, crabs, different names. Wait a minute. Does, does that mean I'm not real? Oh, God. I'm trapped in here. Where are the air holes? They have nothing in shot, so it just looked like the set uh, was been just stolen in the background, moving away. But finally, even in their own behind-the-scenes footage, TV3 staff couldn't help but say what they really thought of the show. Hey, Connor. Hey, how you doing? Heard you have a new show. Yeah, that's right. I've seen on TV where viewers at home send in emails about what they see in the box. Oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Bye.